hi family welcome back to my channel my name is Patricia if you are stopping by here for the very first time now if you ever feel like you've been eating the same food over and over and over if you ever feel like your menu never changed well this is the feeling that sometimes i have you have a fridge or a freezer plenty of food you cook before you have some meal plan but you find yourself not wanting to eat what you have in the fridge and that happened to me a lot that's why i have decided for the next seven days just to bring something new on the table the menu for the next seven days will be way different from what we are used to. Because I am a little bit picky, I have some food that I like to eat them fresh. I don't like to put them in the fridge, then warm them up the next day. I will be cooking every single day for the next seven days. Now family, I am asking you please to like this video because you can't imagine the time I put into filming this video for seven days. It took me a lot. The editing, I can't even tell you that. For you to have what you are watching now, for you to be entertained, even inspire you with some of the menu, please like this video sunday night i wrote down the menu for each day on my meal planner and on the other side i wrote my shopping list but before that i went to the fridge to see what i already have then i will come back to conclude my list of everything that i need to realize my recipes the next day first thing in the morning i went to do my grocery shopping came back i will arrange everything in place before starting cooking because i will be cooking every day i will prepare all my ingredients and marinate all at once I did cut in small squares all types of paprika. I love how colorful they are. This just makes me happy to cook. And I did cut celery and I also blend in some onion and garlic together all at once. I will make two recipes of ground beef. One will be for meatball and the other one for burger. Now for the meatball. I mixed the ground beef with some of the potatoes. I put onion and garlic in both recipe and added celery in the burger. One thing about getting a very good taste of meatball is to mix egg, celery and some milk. I made my meatball shape and I will use the egg container to keep my meatball in the freezer. For the burger, I will wake each of them before making the burger patty. I will use this freezer safe plate to keep all the patties and I use the oven cook paper to separate each patty from sticking together. Now ready to go in the freezer. I will also make two recipes of chicken. I cut in cubes some chicken for kebab and the other one for sandwich and chicken. I will also prepare the marinade for both chicken, kebab and a sandwich which I will keep in the fridge. I 
on the first day of the week we eat some steak for the marinade i'm going to make some jerk seasoning rosemary oyster sauce soy sauce mustard and olive oil I marinated it, leave it in the fridge for 30 minutes. For the sides today, we're going to have some rice. I'm going to put some butter, bay leaf and garlic. After a minute or two, I will add three cups of rice and five cups of water. For a healthier meat cooking, I will place the parchment paper on the pan to fry the steak. And that will also maintain your pan very clean. I added some red onion for a very sweet taste. Two to three minutes before turning off the stove, I will add into my rice some lemon zest and celery. The day before, I get the chicken out from the freezer, put some marinade and place it back in the fridge. On the second day, we eat some stuffed chicken and that was so delicious. For that, all I needed was some spinach, tomato and cheese. While the chicken stuffed is baking, I'm going to prepare my potato salad and for that I'm going to steam some potatoes and eggs. In a bowl, I place in some potatoes that I cut it in small cubes, concumber in cubes, celery and egg. And to prepare the dressing, I need some mayonnaise, mustard, black pepper and olive oil. And I will also going to add some relish. And that was so delicious. I am not only saying that because I'm the one who cooked, but trust me, that truly was. There is not going to be a menu without fish. If you know me, you know I love fish. For today, we're going to have some fish taco.
the night before I marinated the chicken. I'm going to stir fry it for a few minutes and I'm going to finish the cooking on the electrical gray. And yes, we're going to eat that with some African donuts. We also had some rice and salad that I made yesterday. <music> 